So as we get started today this video is divided into chapters. If you wanna skip at any point just look at the sliding bar underneath the plating window and you can see the chapters to skip ahead. Welcome back to the Crochet Kratos. Hello my friends over at Yarnspirations.com continuing with the Healing Stitches Afghan. This video will be the final video as we will go from rounds number 37 all the way to the end of 54. Now the reason why I'm pushing all of this into the last video is that pretty much everything that you've already done in the past uh, series here is that you've already done the work before. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you how to start each of the rounds and I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do on the next corner but you won't actually see that and then I'll be coming around. So I will continue with my sample that I have uh, off to the side here where I will just then just be building out just to show you how to do it. But we've done all of the work pretty much already before and so now it's just a matter of following it through and getting your final project done. Let's begin. So as you move to number 37 what we're doing is that we're doing this row that we did way back here and we're creating these scallops that you have. You have the same stitch counts as far as skipping just the one stitch out when you go to do the single crochet but in the end you'll be skipping two single crochets to then to do the corner. So just uh, keep an eye on that but it's the same information and we'll be doing that now. Let's begin round number 37. So we're going to start up and you're going to chain three. That'll count as your first double crochet and in the corner space I need you to put in eight more double crochet. So the corners will be a total of nine double crochets altogether. So let's just count. So I'm gonna count the chain three as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So make sure you do have that count to make it good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Skipping only one stitch when you start a new side always and you're just going to then go to the second one over and single crochet and then you're gonna begin the shell work. So skipping two, go to the third and put in five double crochet. So one, two, three, four and five. Skipping two, go to the third single crochet. Skipping two, go to the third and do the shell and you're gonna repeat this all the way. So when you get close to the other side on the, as you approach the corner you, you will you will be skipping over two single crochets uh, to, in order to get to the corner. So just make sure that you keep it on that. So it's only the first side that you're starting off that you're skipping only one stitch but on the other side you're skipping two before the corner. So then you're just gonna go in. So I would need you to go all the way around doing that and I'll meet you back up here where we'll finish doing round number 37. So when you're coming up to another side um, or the final you're skipping two and then in this case we are finishing so we're just going to slip stitch it to the top of the chain three. If you're gonna keep this color I need you to slip stitch to the fifth one in. If you're not gonna keep the color and you're gonna change it just stop here and start on the fifth one with the standing single crochet but we'll talk about that in a second. Let me just get to the corner. So it's the fifth one in. You can just count it. So one, two, three, four and five and that's where we're gonna pick up on row number or round number 38. So in round number 38 if you are starting where you are and you haven't changed the color all you just need to do is just chain up one and then put in a single crochet in twice. If you are starting a new color you're still on the fifth one stand, uh, do a standing single crochet first and then a double crochet or then a single crochet. Sorry but I don't know why I'm slipping up in my words. So then chain two. So essentially two single crochets, chain two and then two single crochets into the same spot. You're gonna skip just one stitch out. So just skipping one stitch and you are just going to come in and then skipping two stitches one and two and it, you're in the middle one here and this is where you're going to do your shell again. So it'll be five double crochets. Okay and then skipping two which will take you to the middle one of the shell, single crochet and then shell back into the single crochet. So it's skipping two coming into that one and you'll do that all the way around. And this is round number um, 38. And just follow it. Make sure that the corners on this one are two single crochet, chain two, 
two single crochet. And continue that. So what's gonna happen then when you come back all the way around you're going to be in alignment and just make sure that everything is working out. So just kind of pay attention to that fifth um, stitch that's in the group of nine to know where your corners are going to be. I'll see you at the end of this row or round and we'll see you on number 39. So at the end of number 38 I've just got my shell work so just keep an eye on your corners and so still skipping two just go to the third with the single crochet and then there's one stitch left which you will just automatically skip and then you'll just join it. So if it's a corner that you're not here yet then basically you're still skipping that one and then just forming the corner into the one after that. So it's two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet. So let's get ourselves uh, ready for round number 39. Round number 39 we just wanna slip stitch ourselves to the corner and that's where we're gonna start. And nice easy round for you today. So it's just gonna chain three that'll count as your first double crochet and I need you to put in another double crochet there. And then the corner to chain two and two more double crochets into the same corner. So the corners will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Now in each stitch going all the way around all you're just gonna stay is, is in the back loop. So we've already covered that before. So stay in the back loop. It's one double crochet in each of the back loops going across and then the corners again. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 39. Coming all the way back on round number 39 you should have a line that's visible there and just join it to the top of the first chain three and just slip stitch yourself all the way to the corner or start your new stitch work at the corner. And let's begin round number 40. Let's begin round number 40 and we already know what we're doing with this and we're going to just chain three. Counts as your first double crochet and in the same space you are going to apply eight more double crochets. So that gives you a total of nine. So we just did this moments ago when we were down here. So this is a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine and only skipping one stitch when you come out of a fresh side like this. So I just moving things around so I can see it. So there's skipping this one, single crochet in the next, skipping two stitches and you're just gonna do your shell work which is just five double crochet. And I need you to do that all the way to the other side. You've already done this before several times and just making sure that you turn your corners properly. So you'll have two stitches to skip before you'll hit a corner and then I'll meet you at the end of this in, in a moment. So this is round number 40 and I'll be right back. So coming up all the way around. So if it was a corner, regular corner, you're still skipping two um, and then if the finishing corner still skipping two and then just join at the top of the chain three. So let's move on and we wanna get ourselves to the fifth chain up again or sorry to the fifth stitch up. So just keep slip stitching to the fifth and if you wanna start a new color you'll start it on the fifth as well. And let's begin number 41. So this is the same as before and we're just doing the shell work in between these pieces. So if you're just uh, starting up the same color just chain up one and put in a single crochet. If you're doing a standing single crochet to join a new color just make sure that there's two in a row. Chain two and two single crochets into the same fifth stitch of a corner. So that the fifth stitch is being used each time. So what you're going to do is skip one stitch, single crochet the next and then skipping two stitches which will take you to the single crochet and you'll do your shell work. So it's five double crochet. And so you've already done this before so you're gonna make your way around and I'll see you at the end of number 41 in just a moment. Coming all the way around still skipping these two stitches you'll have your single crochet and there's only one stitch left after you get that single crochet in. It's a little tight. <laughs> That's real tight today. Okay single crochet skip the last one and then just join to the beginning and if it was a regular corner you're still skipping and just putting your corner of two uh, single crochets, chain two to sing, uh, two single crochets. Let's just slip stitch now to the corner and let's get started for round number 42. 
So 42 we're gonna go back to the idea of doing the back loops only again. So just right where you are in the corner just chain three counts as your first double and then double crochet in chain two and two more double crochets into the corner. So using the back loops only again from what you already remember from before making sure that you have everything done and just double crochet in each stitch all the way to the corner and the corners two double crochet chain two two double crochet. This is round number 42. I'll see you at the end of this round in just a moment. So coming up to the end of round number 42 and all we're just going to do then is just join to the beginning of the chain three and then slip stitch to yourself to get yourself to the corner or change out your yarns depending on what you would like to do for colors. And let's move on to round number 43 now. So we move on to round number 43 we're going to be creating this line that you see here and it's that raised line of using the back post and that's our goal for 43. Let's begin number 43 chain one and you're going to start off with a half double crochet chain two and a half double crochet inside the same corner. So the corners will be one half double crochet chain two one half double crochet. Starting with the very first stitch each stitch will be a back post double crochet. We've uh, covered this twice already before and you're just going to do that and then corners again one half double crochet chain two one half double crochet. So you have a nice standoff texture by the time you're done this round. This is round number 43. I'll see you at the end in a moment. Coming up to the end of number 43 just doing back post double crochet and then join it to the first half double crochet and before moving on to round number 44 just slip stitch yourself to the corner and let's begin there in just a moment. Round number 44 chain up three counts as your first double crochet and then you're going to double crochet into the same corner chain two and double crochet twice. So your corners will be two double crochet chain two two double crochet. Whenever you start a new side so all four sides the first one out just it's right here. It's just gotta pull it it's right there. These half double crochets are really misleading. So make sure that you get that one and it's gonna be one double crochet standing by itself and then you can start the repeat pattern that will take you to the next corner. So we're gonna do the crisscross like we've done before an X stitch. So a crisscross is X stitch. So you're just gonna skip one go to the second and double crochet and then come to the one that you skipped and come back. You've done this before. So you're gonna cross stitch all the way to the other corner and then the corners two double crochet chain two two double crochet and remember when you start a side there's just gonna be one double crochet that stands by itself in order for this pattern to align properly. So please do that all the way around for round number 44. Coming up to the end of number 44 you're just gonna slip stitch it to the top of the chain three and then slip stitch yourself to the corner to start 45 in just a moment. Okay number 45 Jeannie's giving us a break so we just need to chain three. There's your first double crochet and then double crochet again and then chain two and two double crochet. So the corners will be two double crochet chain two two double crochet. In each stitch going all the way around it's just one double crochet so it's nice and easy and then the corners two double crochet chain two two double crochet. Please do this for number 45. I'll be back in just a moment. I'm at the end of number 45 just double crocheted myself around. Well I faked it but that's okay and you're just gonna slip stitch to the next corner to take it to number 46. So let's carry on into 46. We're going to just start in the corner so chain three and double crochet into the same corner and then chain two and two double crochet into the same corner. So the corners on this one will be two double crochet chain two two double crochet. Skipping the first one out we're gonna start with those V stitches again. So skip uh, skipping the first one and V stitch into the next. So that's a double crochet chain one and double crochet and then once you get that started you're gonna skip two stitches and go to the third and then do your V stitches and you're gonna do this all the way to the other side and then turn your corner. So in the corners so remember what it was it was two double crochet chain two two double crochet and I'll see you at the end of this round and I'll be right back in a moment. 
So I'm coming all the way around and even if it was a regular corner you're still skipping the final two stitches and then um, you're just gonna join it here. So if it was a regular corner you're skipping the final two stitches and then just go right into your corner uh, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. For those moving on to 47 just slip stitch to the corner and let's begin. So round number 47 is going to be these three double crochets that are sitting inside of the V-stitches from before. So we're going to start off exactly with what we know and continue along. So let's start 47. Let's start 47. We're going to chain three and double crochet into the same one and then chain two and two double crochet into the same. So the corners again will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So when we go to start off on any of the sides the first two stitches will each be one double crochet and that will get yourself started. And then you're just gonna jump into the V-stitch. It's the middle one that we did before and you're going to apply three double crochets in there and you'll do that all the way across to the other side. Just like that, right? So then you just come to the next one and put in three double crochets into that spot. So you're gonna keep repeating this all the way until you get to the other uh, uh, corner and remember how we had these double crochets that are standing by themselves. We are going to have that uh, still available to you here. So you'll double crochet in the final two stitches leading up to a corner and then you'll do your two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So please do this all the way around. This is round number 47. Coming all the way to the end of number 47, remember the two last stitches are going to be a double crochet that stand on their own and then you're just going to join it. So even if it was a regular corner it's still two single crochets on its own and then turn your corner as you know, know it. So move on to round number 48 just slip stitch to the corner again and let's begin round number 48. Let's begin round number 48. Chain three counts as your double crochet and you'll double crochet back in and then you'll chain two and two double crochet back in. So we're now going to apply some V-stitching once again. So you're gonna skip the first two stitches out and then come into the next one, the third one and apply a V-stitch. So it'll be a double crochet, chain one, one double crochet and then you're gonna skip two stitches. So one and two and so it's the middle one of these groups to make it easier for you to find and you'll apply a V-stitch in each one of the middles of those. So if you're skipping the right amount of stitches you will have that opportunity, right? So I want you to do this V-stitching all the way around. Your corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 48. I'm coming up to the end of number 48 and so you, even if you're on the end of a regular corner you're still skipping two stitches out and you'll join it to the, to the top here. So let's just slip stitch ourselves to the middle again of the corner and let's begin number 49. Number 49, you're gonna chain three counts as a double and double crochet again inside. You're going to chain two and two double crochet. So the corners again, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. You are going to double crochet yourself in here and what we need to do is the first two will be a double crochet. And then just coming into the V-stitch here there will be three double crochets into the chain one space which is the V-stitch. And so then you'll just be jumping into the V-stitches all the way across again. So just in the middle three double crochets. So I need you to do that all the way around. Corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and the two last stitches before the corner is just one double crochet by itself. Sorry, there's two of those. There's one in each. And so when you come back around you'll be having to do the same thing. Please do all, all this for round number 49. Coming back around on 49 so there will be two doubles by themselves and you're just going to join to the beginning. And then slip stitch yourself to the corner and let's move on to round number 50 next. Round number 50 you're going to chain three and a double crochet into the same corner and then chain two to turn and two double crochet again. So the corners for round number 50 are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Working in only the back loops only, we've done this before, you're going to apply one double crochet into each. So in the back loops only. So please do that all the way around. Corners are two double crochet, chain two, 
two double crochet and I'll see you at the end of round number 50 in a moment. Coming up to the end of number 50 just join it to the beginning and then slip stitch yourself to the corner again to take you to 51. So this last round you should have had a line that's being created by using the back loops only. Let's move to 51 next. In round number 51 we're going to just chain up one and do a half double crochet followed by a chain two and a half double crochet and you're gonna do that in each corner. So half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Working in the back post only again you're gonna apply one back post uh, double crochet into each stitch around and then the corners as I mentioned one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. So you're gonna have that lip raising off like you did back here. So let's please do that and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 51. Coming all the way back around on round number 51 just join to the first half double crochet and then slip stitch yourself to the corner and let's begin number 52. Let's begin round number 52. We're gonna start with the crisscross round so you're gonna start your corner, chain three and then double crochet in and then chain two and two double crochet in. So then you're gonna immediately start with a crisscross. So you just this one here is hidden. So just kind of pull it out of the way so you can see that stitch that normally happens with half double crochet. So you're gonna skip that stitch, go to the next in half or sorry do a double crochet and then you're going to do a double crochet back. So it's a crisscross so and you're gonna do that all the way across. So skip the next one, double crochet the next and come back and you'll do this all the way to the corner. Corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 52. So crisscrossing all the way back around and I'm just gonna join to the beginning chain three and then just slip stitch yourself to the corner and let's begin round number 53. Round number 53. So you're just gonna chain up three and double crochet into the first and then chain three and two double crochet. So the corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So nice easy round, just one double crochet in each of the stitches all the way around and corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. I'll see you at the end of number 53 and 54 which is coming up next is the finale of this blanket. Coming up all the way around just slip stitch to the top of the chain three and then slip stitch to the corner and let's begin the final round number 54. Round number 54 has two yarn strands. So if you are using the same color then you'll need to um, use the same color. So two of the, the, the same strands and if you're going to use different colors then you're, you're gonna have to do that. So when you slip stitch the last round, round number 53, make sure that you have both of the strands ready to go. So let's begin the funnel and you're going to just chain up one. So you're gonna start off with the single crochet and then chain two to turn and then you're going to do one single crochet. So with both of the strands you're just gonna chain one, skip the first one and single crochet in the next and then chain one, skip the next one, single crochet in the next and etc. And you're gonna do this all the way to the corner. So the corners will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. And what I want to do is I'll meet you at the end of this round in a second. So coming up all the way around nice and easy and just making a thicker border so you can grab onto something more if you're cuddling underneath a horror movie or something like watching a horror movie or something and then just chain one, skip the last one and just slip stitch to the very beginning. I'll just quickly show you how to fasten off. So make sure you're ready for that. To fasten off you're just going to pull through and this will lock and if you have two strands you'll wanna do one at a time. So you wanna do the strands one at a time to be able to go through if you wanna put it through both you can and all you just need to do is that when you finished off just turn it to the back side and just drag it through underneath the back uh, of the stitch work itself. Okay and go far enough that you think it will get locked and you're gonna go through once and a slightly different path the opposite direction and then finally third time is a charm. So it should never fall out on you if you go at least three times. If you wanna go more you can and you'll do that with each one of the strands and therefore you can safely cut it down into the project and that will conclude the Healing Stitches Afghan. So you'll wanna do that with all your um, strands that you have and 
this is how you did this particular project. That's it for now. Have a good one. We hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.